All right, we're live. Hello, hello. Welcome, guys. Welcome to Gaming Gamers. Uh, Giselle is currently uh, buffering. He's, he's a limbo. worm. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a worm. Keeps turning eternally. So, welcome to Gaming Gamers. This is a podcast that <laughs> kind of started about video games. Now it's not. No, it's yeah. still about video games, goddammit. Everything Tama, is about video siya. games, yeah. Tukol pa rin siya sa video games, so... Mm. And before we start, oh, hey, River, have you been on TikTok recently? Um, I, I've seen reshares of TikTok on Facebook and Twitter. I haven't <laughs> been on the app. Why? What's, yeah, what's going on in TikTok? Our, maybe I've been involved in something. Na hindi ako dapat kasi I am, God, that sounds I, so suspicious. I've been I am old. Eh. I am old. I am old. <laughs> TikTok is a young person's game. Yeah. It's a young person's game. Uh, I was, I was searching for like. <laughs> you know the the thing they do with their lights. I saw John Cena do that with the ring light challenge or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, was, the one yeah where they they become stupid. hotter. That's stupid. I hate. I hate. I hate and love the younger generation. But... See, I'm not one of those guys who hates the younger generation. So you welcome. Like I'm a, Adrian oh, Bernardo, yeah. a <laughs> yeah. comedian, and I'm with. Uh, Copywriter extraordinaire River Cruz. That's that's what I'm known for. I go on the yes. streets. They're like, oh, that guy can write some ads. They say. Shh. Um, <laughs> Wordplay. He uses dynamic he's, pentameter. He's, he's got that uh, dynamic pentameter. He knows how to. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. Um, do we, do we let's kick it off by talking about yeah. our weekends. I suppose. How yeah. was yours? Um, mine was fine. Uh, I bought a, a air humidifier. Wow. Uh, it rocks, but I don't know. Wow, and it lights up too. <laughs> yeah, dude, it has, it has like three light settings. Yeah, I like it. Like my room doesn't smell like ass or mail or cigarettes anymore. Mm. Like yeah, it's fun. Like I'm not to discover it. I'm such an old man. I like it. I like it. Ten out of ten, buddy. You know, I mean, like that's perfect for like the pandemic right now. I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna make my air smell nicer. Why not? You know. <laughs> like the freaking Omicron is in the air right now. Why not make it smell nice while I inhale it? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah, why not make the you know, the spread of disease smell yeah, nice? Yeah, at least make it pleasant, these, you know. Yeah, tama sa mga street corners. Like it has nothing to do with the virus, pero Yeah, just put it there at least. When you're getting infected, it's a pleasant experience. Lagay natin to sa tondo. Oh my god, yes. Sa <laughs> Have you ever like walked in? Because I was studying in the US. Have yeah. you ever walked in Kiapo Bridge? Dude, I yeah, I when my my previous job in, in film, we shot in Kiapo. Like we had to stop traffic to shoot, and it it it's wild. They they clean. We had to clean the church in front of it. We had to clear all the market stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I've I've been around. Dude, the fucking feces in that bridge, but a human feces. You, but, yeah, like, yeah, and you know it's human feces too. <laughs> Yeah, you can actually like see the 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 poor people <laughs> snickering as you yeah. walk by, making snickers you know, as you as you walk by. It's it's weird because kasi like first time ko sa Manila, tas first time ako nakakita ng tai ng tao in the streets. I mean, what, yeah, it, that's that's the true uh, uh, welcome banner, you know, like you when you drive when you're in a, in an FX or whatever going down Taft, then you see those like laser like those light banners that says "Welcome to City of Manila." Na wrong mm. grammar pa. But the true welcome is seeing human feces on the street. That's how you know you're in the cities. You're in the freaking country's capital when you see shit on the floor. <laughs> Usually, dito sa Pangasinan, it's just pig feces and cow feces. Yeah, exactly. And that's normal. You know, they don't know any better. Us, we're, we're, the, we're the top of the food chain. We get the shit wherever we want. That's, that's, I, I like that's the, the sign of it. I like the feces talk. <laughs> no, dude, I'm, I'm eating dinner right now. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, my weekend, uh, I have been on this. My diet, I've nice. been miserable. Nice. I, I can have carbs, and I just want to fucking kill myself. But, you no, know, it's I have to do it. I have the I have the yeah. D river. I have the D. You have the D with it. Yeah. I have the diabetes, and I've oh, been cutting down on my drink, my drinking. Then, yeah, I don't. Hey, for anyone here, uh, any recovering alcoholics, I've been like, I've been drinking every other day instead of every day, yeah. which, which is good. Yeah, 
How yeah, often do you know. drink whatever? Oh, um, during you know, events. <laughs> I, and I don't know what constitutes the definition of an event. I'm like, oh, wow. I, <laughs> I know, just like special events like Christmas or a birthday uh, or, or a party or whatever. How about yeah. alone? Alone? I've only ever drank alone uh, in college, <laughs> okay. which I think says a lot about our school system that it induces okay. alcoholism. Okay. But yeah, after that, I was, yeah. Yeah, enough now, enough now about fucking that. Let's talk about some video <laughs> games. Have you heard this? Yung nagkaroon ng flak yung dying light. Oh <laughs> shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, they said, um, our, our game, you have to, it takes 500 hours to, to beat the game. Oh, like, okay, how do you feel okay. about that? Yeah, I want to know. Because you're I, the guy that's I, like, oh, the longer the better, man. Yeah, that's why, that's why yeah. That's cool. That's cool. But why would <laughs> people get offended naman? Like, no, I don't think they were offended. I think it's just that nowadays, better. I think it's kind of tone deaf nowadays because I, a lot of people lately don't have time for video games to the same amount that they used to. I don't know. I, I don't think they were offended. I just think it's kind of silly to people. Like a lot of comments I see in like that video I saw on Twitter, you know, like 500 hours to walk from this end to the other yeah. map and then like that. <laughs> and like, yeah, just five five hundred hours doing like fetch quests or whatever. Like they they're, they're like making fun of like what are you doing in that five hundred hours? Like you know if it's something like worthwhile, I guess it's fine. But I don't know. But I, do, I, I, but I, I I I do get the appeal of like that's what I did in you know, the GTA Five. Yeah, yeah. When it came out in twenty thirteen, oh my god, that game's so Oh my old. god, and they're still yeah. re-releasing it. No. And I I just drove the whole map like in normal speed. Yeah, and I was just listening. Yeah, following the traffic part... laws. Yeah, that, 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 that's there's some part of you that wants to do that. You know? Yeah, I, I kind of get what they did. That's what for I do in pu- Cyberpunk for some reason. Yeah, I'm pushing on them. Like, why didn't they have to remove the comment? Now, oh fuck, I'm sorry, guys. We didn't know that we we're talking to a bunch of incels. Who cares? Who cares? They were just trying to express you grandiose yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get what they were trying to do i think it's just like at the age i think people like gamers are just burnt out like how how privileged is that like oh we're so burnt out you're giving us too much content <laughs> yeah, give us less like game for... <laughs> <laughs> no, but i get what you mean know. I mean, yeah, but, yeah. You know, technically party you fucking tales of arises like 100 hours of gameplay. Yeah. But, like, the main story is just 20 hours or 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 I get to 30 that. hours. So. Freaking... I'm near the end of, like, Dragon Quest Eight right now. And I haven't... I, I've spent, like, maybe 60 hours. But I see people commenting on, like... Or talking about the games. Like, I spent, like, 200 hours because I, I... I got all the monsters. And then I did the whole... All the side quests. Like, I'm, yeah. like, I, I'm almost done with the game. And I feel like I... I also feel done with the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Not that, that, was like me. It, yeah. yeah. that was me with like to a certain extent uh Dark Souls one and mm. uh Ghost of Tsushima. Like I just feel done with this game. I don't, I, it's yeah. weird because I, I go back and forth with the game length thing. Because uh, for you what's the perfect perfect length to like of a game where like you get your like... money's worth. Yeah. <laughs> Some games never end. <laughs> Some oh. games can last forever. Okay, for me it's like a solid like you make movies, the right? like you, you yeah. write movies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like a complete hero's journey, like wherein, oh man, like yeah, I don't know, yeah. I'm straight. Yeah, yeah. What am I on? You know, like the some... Act One, they leave their home. Act Two, they grind for a hundred hours. Act Three, <laughs> yeah. they fight the boss and kill him too. Yeah, and then no, no, there's better so RPGs <laughs> may Act Four, where that oh, boss yeah. transforms to a bigger boss that somehow. I mean, yeah, dad. exactly. It's yeah, like this is my full we... power. And somehow <laughs> it's your dad and also God. Yeah. I think I that that Final Fantasy meme. Oh, yeah. Oh, Better you Dragon Quest uh, 11, Segura, Eleven. That's like a six. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, optional, yeah. optional you fifth and sixth act. So yeah. <laughs> I think Dragon Quest yeah, Eleven did a good job, where they kind of give you two endings. The first ending is for people who like have other things to do. Like okay, you see the the credits roll, you're done. But like yeah. the other, the the second, the true ending <laughs> is for like you know for for people like us, I guess. Degenerates like us, yeah. they want more, and, and yeah, I, I maxed out my levels and I beat the guy. But um, for me, I guess, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, it depends on the genre. Then, because for a JRPG, I don't mind if it's super long. I, I mean, I beat Dragon Quest Seven, which is like famously long. Yeah. 
Uh, but like when it comes to like dying light to it, it kind of it might get too mind numbing when uh, it's the same loop of like fight the zombie shoot that. the guy I go in a tower that in the way when i played uh last of us 2 there were, uh, yeah. were there were times in that game oh fuck let's end this already like you <laughs> before you go back to ellie last quest more kay abby yeah i was like let's just, just end this let's just game I've shot a pregnant woman now. Let's just end yeah, this. Yeah. How far? How far can I go now with the? How violence? much far? Am I gonna shoot twins next time? What's? And <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that's. Um, I have also been playing Slay the Spire, and you know yeah. that game is pissing me off. Man, I say, I, I completed oh. the run. Yeah, with three you got full circle. Now. You love the game yeah. now. You hate it. No, no, because three characters. I finished it. with three characters, and then I have to finish it but with one more, and this character. Fucking sucks, man. The <laughs> blind chick. She Describe. stinks. What is it about them? Because she has this skill where, where double your damage more, but double your damage that you can get more. And it, sometimes oh. the, you can deal out them cards. You're forced to, to act on that card. And it works if the enemies are not bosses. Because... <laughs> When bosses, they bosses re- hit really hard in this game. So <laughs> there was one time where, like in uh, third, yeah, yeah. so final boss na ng Act Three, I just got smoked with one shot because I didn't have the the double heal card that she also has. If you go to that phase of hers, mm. so it's she's kind of yeah. hard to explain because she's the hardest character for me to to play. Mm. And yeah, that game is imbalanced in the way that you get to attack, but Fucking, you draw five defense cards. That's that's the thing that's pissing me off. Lang sometimes, like, but in the lang yeah, no. pal, so, like, one shot na yung kalaban na. One shot na yung kalaban. I mean, because yeah. no. throughout the game, then it's up to you to balance your own deck, which I like because you can choose which cards to get rid of, which cards to keep. Gonna yeah. like, but as you go through the spire, you can you can get rid of cards, you can buy new cards. But I guess at the end of the day, it's still luck of the draw. If you get five. A <laughs> full defense all the way through. And, and I didn't get that far yet in that game, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, th- th- this game isn't funny, yeah. But there's this one funny enemy where he starts, my powers are unmatched. And when you defeat him, he just says, my powers were matched. And uh, that, that, just, that makes <laughs> me laugh that. every That's time. So funny. Uh, yeah. And yeah, Slay the Spire. You only to fight am, that guy. And I am also... I pre-ordered uh, Horizon West. Dawn, Dawn of, oh. I forget the name. I pre-ordered uh, the Forbidden game. West. I, Forbidden West, yes. I'm excited yeah. for that game because I, uh, I got disappointed at the first one because I didn't like the melee combat mm. in that game. And again, the stealth is broken, like I said last episode. Yeah. In the dress, though, eh, I saw a synopsis That's what, Yeah, I but, heard that too. Yeah. Is it, is it kind of weird that I'm using Wikipedia and not games, like GameStop? <laughs> Or IGN to look up like new video games. It's working on Wikipedia. Uh, it has more information. Eh, yeah. Because yeah. it because the, the people that edit them are like the obsessed gamer fan that you know will never get anything wrong. Journalists, game journalists, you know they have a bias, you know, or like yeah. they'll, they'll probably get one thing wrong or I don't know. But yeah, like, I, I understand. What, 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 are game, Wikipedia. what are game journalists now anyways? They're streamers na, diba? Right? There are no technically game who writes I, about video I games. guess... There are no... Like, that's still dying. a job that people do. Like, they, okay. they sign up... Yeah, it is dying, though. You can tell from the quality of the journalism yeah. nowadays. But, I don't know. I, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a game journalist. I just wanted to review games. But for K-Zone, remember K-Zone? I, used, I wanted to be like, oh, give this game 4 out of 5. And, and, and <laughs> like, I'll talk about the graphics. Like, stuff like that. But... I know it's there's a lot more to it now. There's a lot of red yeah, tape like behind some people, like, reviewing spo- a game. Sponsor, sponsor, mo yung fucking yeah. Yung game. Like I'm not allowed to use Rooster Teeth, and they reviewed Fallout. I think they gave it a five, uh, four out of five, and fall, Fallout Four, uh, and other mag- yeah. like other quote, quote unquote credible game sites, like gave it a three out of five, three and a half out of five. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Rooster Teeth were defending themselves while while wearing the Pip voice. <laughs> it's kind of weird, dude. like it's while like while eating yeah, the caviar that they yeah, bought with the sponsor money. 
I'm not even joking. There's a video of them defending themselves while in their fucking Fallout Four merch. That's so funny. That's so like kind of Megaton death. That's so funny. Uh, I forgot what happened in my weekend. Oh, um, yeah. over the, uh, this year, I've kind of like subconsciously made not a New Year's resolution, but like my game plan for this year is I'm there's so many games that I grew up with that suddenly got re-released or like mm-hmm. remastered. So one of them is Mass Effect. So the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, uh, I got oh, yeah, on complete Game Pass. From one to three, the but- yeah, yeah, with all the DLC Plus, and they, and oh my they revised. Oh, you mean things. you mean the yeah. ending that pinigilan nila sa three? They, the real they, ending. Yeah, <laughs> they they added the because originally there's three endings. Now there's five endings, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> it's a different color. They're two different colors, but like they 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 address some stuff now, like um with balancing and uh, and there's some level designs that they updated and so on. But I'm just. It's funny because, like, in my mind, I'm like, okay, I played through three, these three games when I was in high school. Now I'm gonna play it, but with different choices. But it's so hard to make different choices because I can't help but like be myself while I'm playing Shepard. So I can't be mean to certain people, but I have to to make. Like... But so far, I I remember why I enjoyed the game because I got I got so sucked into the lore. Have, you've never played Mass Effect, now? No. no. I was, no. I was more of a, I was, I was more of a Dragon Age Inquisition guy. Oh, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I, I liked. I mean, I like Dragon Age too. I only played the first one in Inquisition. I didn't play the second one, but Mass yeah. Effect for me, I really enjoyed because of how all the races. You can tell that all the different races, including humanity, they could go to war at any second if one of them makes a mistake, and it's there's so much tension. And the the idea that your crew is made of uh, one of each race makes it like, oh, wow, we're representing the whole of the universe and we have to really, like, step up. Because, like, basically the history of it, there's, there's like, a race um, of, of uh, these aliens called the Krogan, which are, like, these, like, war-torn, like, turtle, frog-looking guys. Mm-hmm. Now, they're very primitive. They're very, like, ooga booga caveman. We, we fight everything. But then there's this one other race called the Salarians, which are like super smart, intelligent oh. beings. They they gave them technology, like here here's here's how to use a gun, here's how to use a, a nuke, and they basically because they gave they tried to like you know help them progress. They took over. They gave the Krogans too much power, and they took over most of the galaxy. So what they did is they they created um, they created a disease. Where only one in one thousand babies will survive uh, birth, so now they're okay. going extinct. So like, there's like these tiny like history. They don't show this in the game. It's just history that you okay. read about or they talk about. And I like that they do that. So like, there's like tensions between those races. There's tensions between humans and this other race called the Turians and all this stuff. I don't know. I just, I just, I, I like. <laughs> where the where the Durians like, like uh, smelly? Not, yeah. Where they smelly the Durians. The Durians, yeah. I never, yeah. It never occurred to me they sound like Durians. It's they're they're called Durians. They look like giant oh. praying mantis grasshopper guys. But, anyway. oh. <laughs> but I like basically, it's it, 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 caveman brain river. I'm just equating this game to yeah, an go, older yeah, yeah. game that's similar to my generation, yeah. which is Battle Realms. So the basically the Krogans are the wolf, mm. and the, the the advanced people are the. Fuck, I even forgot. <laughs> Sorry, it's the wolf dragon. It's okay. I, I get what you mean, though. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's not. Over One it. of those realms. Yeah. What new games have you been playing? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, what new games have I been playing? I mean, okay, so I've been playing Mass Effect. I've been freaking replaying the Arkham series, the the uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham uh, those. I've uh. Because after I finished Wolfenstein, I'm looking for that next big like story game, you know? Because Wolfenstein 2 okay. had such a good story. So I I downloaded a game called... Uh, I forgot what it was called. It was the one about rats. called like a Plague Tale Innocence, I think it was called. Where like you're a, you're a girl in the, the during the bubonic plague with, with the rats. And then it's okay. you and your brother and you have to survive. But I, I haven't started it. I downloaded it. It's taking up space. Is, is the gameplay I'm like too busy you. replaying all these old games. Is it just you and your partner just kicking rats what? the whole game? Good luck, man. 
Is it that? No, it's okay. I think I think there's magic. I think you discover your brother can control the rats. Okay. okay. Hello. <laughs> can, sick. can you hear me? Sounds sick. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Okay. Am I uh, lagging, but? Oh, uh, God, it's so... I don't like how whenever we go on this podcast, I just... Yeah, kind of. But I don't know if it's me, me? or if it's you. <laughs> Might be me. Okay, okay kanina eh. Medyo nag, naging glitchy lang nung... At the middle of the stream, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway. Yeah, go. Whenever we... It's funny because like whenever we start this podcast, I always blank on like what what exactly did I do? Um, oh, uh, I mean something not video game related. But I finally finished Komi Can Communicate uh, yesterday. Good boy. And I cried. It's really good. It's really good. There's always the, I I only have like one gripe in the entire anime, and it's the one character that has that's in love with oh. Komi, the girl. I hate. Oh, the one kid. I, I, the one I who, wish she would get. That's uh, you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish she would get a she would get arrested. I wish she would like be thrown into an asylum. I, I, she makes everything worse. Every time like, every time she shows up, I just don't like what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I also got Did you into this new anime. Yeah, I finished. I finished it. And, uh, oh. I, I I really like it. I got into this new anime. It's called. Uh, it's I I hate these animes with long titles. So I have to look them up every fucking time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. You know what? Stand up should have taught me to fucking take it easy on myself for my yeah. dead air. Use yeah, just then, do some crowd works. Like, how how are you guys? Uh, what's uh? Anyone here? Well, what do you guys? What do you do for work? And then they're like, I'm I'm a physical yeah. therapist. Like, oh, so you? Oh, you're gay. You know, you crowd Yeah, like, oh, you're gay. You can just say that oh, for anything. Awesome. Yeah. I recommend you watch it because it's one of those rare animes that made me laugh. The Genius Princess Guide to race, Racing a Nation Out of Debt. Debt. So, yeah, it's... Oh my god. I literally just typed the gen and then it, it autocorrected. Google autocorrected it to exactly what you said. The Genius Princess <laughs> Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. Oh, it's, so... um, it's funny. It's a, it's a, it's like, uh, you know that thing where they call, uh, you failed successfully. Y- yeah. So basically, he's a leader of this town, of this nation, and basically he's bullshitting his way because he wants his <laughs> nation to fail, para mabenta yeah. and live a lavish, luxur- luxurious oh, that's lifestyle. Funny. It sounds like but the they producers. keep, su- but they keep succeeding. Like <laughs> he, he, he told the soldiers, "Okay, let's fight this continent." I said they're weak, knowing na matatalo sila, yeah. and they just keep winning despite all his attempts not for them to win, and it's really funny. It's Maybe that's so really good. Awesome. It reminds yeah. me of uh, you ever watch this old car, this cartoon called The Misadventures of Flapjack? Oh, it's from the yeah, yeah, the same people that made Adventure Time. Uh, yeah, so yeah, basically, the guy Flapjack's with the... like this tiny wannabe pirate, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is episode he, he can't be a pirate if he if he doesn't have a single enemy because he's friends with everyone. It's like he does all this shit to, to make to piss people off, but they end up like thinking it's cute or endearing. Like he breaks a bottle on a guy's eye, and then he's like, "Oh, that was my glass eye. Now I can now I can be a real pirate with an eye patch. Thank you very much." Like that, like something. I like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna, but I'm gonna It sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. But I'm gonna humor. Yeah, I like it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I like I drop some. You drop some animes then, like if it's what what yeah. causes you to drop um, an anime river. I've dropped a lot there. Fuck. Um, I, oh, Jesus. I, God, I'm trying to think of like, it's funny. It's, it's, my brain is like, think of the, the, try to remember the most unremarkable anime you've seen that you dropped. But I mean, there's one, uh, Fire Force, I really enjoyed initially because I really related with the main character, but I kind of dropped it because it kind of became too. I don't mind fan service in anime too much, if, but if it gets in the way of the tone of the plot, Oh my god, I it saw just, the, it, the, the character models of Fire Force. Like, ugh. Like in skin yeah, this is one girl who's just a bikini. And I'm like, you're a yeah. firefighter. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't think that's safe. Like, like that. Like, it, it can't. Yeah. Exactly. It took me out of it. And it's like, I don't know if I'm enjoying this. Because I really like. I love the, the world that they build. Like, oh, the, the people, they spontaneously combust and we have to take them out. I think that's cool. Yeah. And I like that the main character. 
uh, looks evil, but he's really nice. But he has an issue that when he's nervous, he smiles. Like, I like that, because I, I smile when I'm nervous. Like that. There's that one... I forgot there's this other one I tried to watch. I'll look it up. What's what's yours? Um, um, I think we both agreed on this, you Demon Slayer. Like, I tried. I really tried. Oh, like, yeah, that's, I forgot about every, that. I tried so everyone hard. Of, so, everyone, everyone loves this. I don't know why. Maybe I need to... Because it's not the same as the 3M episode rule. If you're not into it with the third yeah, episode, yeah, yeah. you can drop it. And it's such a bo- boilerplate shonen thing. Like, I'm tired of shonen anime. Na, like, the rare exception lang siguro. Even sa oh, Boku no Hero, I dropped it. I don't know why. I Maybe, do you think it's because the people you know like what? it because it's popular? I'm kind of struggling. Yeah. I don't know, because like I remember, there was a spark in Boku no Hero that like really drew me in. I really enjoyed, like the story was genuinely good. But I, I'm I'm struggling to finish this current season. Okay. I'm like three episodes away from finishing it, but I'm like putting it off. I'm, like I'll watch it later, and then now the next season's coming, and I'm like shit, I gotta finish this. I guess oh, another sweet. one, but yeah, another one is uh, no. I I remember enjoying Doctor Stone when I watched it, like the first season of Doctor Stone. It's just the one episode. Yeah. Like they, you preview people, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna like this. Yeah, why? Why? why I liked it. it. Sorry. Uh, the thing is, I liked it until the near the end of the show because uh, I love the concept of like rebuilding a world from scratch just using science. I think that's really fun, and I like that the the enemy's whole morality is like I we can only free the lives of those that we deem worthy. Gonna, <laughs> but near the end. It kind of lost me, and it stopped being about that, and it became more about like family drama between him and his dad, and like really? I don't know, it, it kind of lost. Me. I wanted it to be more about science, like, but they stopped. <laughs> Not that they stopped, but it kind of took a backseat. But because season two is out, and season three is coming soon, and I'm like, shit, I gotta I, get through season two now. I say I saw the plot of it, River, and yeah. like, here's what made me laugh about it, like how dumb this anime is. So basically, you're creating life again. Diba? Basically, yeah. basic part because everyone got turned to stone, and you you kalaban mo is an evil version of you who yeah na yeah nagbubu- yeah yun yun really that's the oh point well no this- he's okay so the bad guy is uh he he's the opposite of Sengu who's the main character who's very physically weak but he's super smart the bad guy naman he's 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 pretty smart but he's more on strength he's like really brawny. Yeah. He killed a lion just by punching it like in the head or something. Like that's how strong oh, yeah. he is. Oh, yeah. So he has this like morality in a, some some adults aren't worth reviving, you know, but mm-hmm. Senku does doesn't feel comfortable like judging people based on, you know, like he he believes all people should be freed. But this guy is like no, only only we can only make a perfect society if we pick and choose. So like he and then he says like no person should have that power. So then that's when they had that conflict. And which actually, is interesting because yeah. yeah that's actually an interest i, I really that, made it sound stupid it's okay <laughs> <That's> an... <laughs> no but it gets a little bogged down near the end because um what happens is they think they're the last people that's when i like the anime when it feels like they're the last people and they're really making everything like with science and stuff but near the end he finds a tribe of of other people and they i mean it's kind of a spoiler but whatever they're basically no, 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 a tribe no. that uh, there were astronauts in space so when the Ooh. earth got petrified the only people that didn't were this was the people in the international space station and they went back to earth and then they started having kids and those are the old they're those are the last humans and that was the tribe that he found and he's teaching them the power of science so that's that's how it went ahead so so this is basically an edgy I, I, I bill nye he is he he's bill nye with like hair that looks like like celery. He that's, has, like, what hair turned, that's... that's what turned me off is his stupid hair, but hair like <laughs> Guile from Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but he's a vegetarian. Oh, you uh, might like this one. Like th- this held yeah. my attention. Now. Like I have ADHD. This actually held my fucking attention. Is like the Promise Neverland. Watch the first season. Watch the oh, second. Okay. I yeah. I hear the second season isn't that good, but I hear the first season is no, great. They. They tried to do their own thing by shortening the manga. I get that you need to shorten oh, it better. Okay. They skipped important yeah, plot yeah. points. It's basically edgy Hansel and Gretel. Better. I like it. Yeah. I think there's another the one thing... that. Oh, go ahead. Go, go, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say like this is this anime reminds me of this other one, 
that I've always been meaning to watch. You ever have that anime that's like in your back burner because your friends like recommend a lot of shows? Yeah, and like, I'll uh, that watch that. I'll put it on my watch list. That that was Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> for me. See, I I enjoyed I enjoyed Jujutsu Kaisen. I I watched that one all the way through, and it was pretty oh, yeah. good. Uh, but yeah, I understand why it's not for everyone because it's it's kind of it jumps a lot to like like it jumps the timeline, it jumps main characters, and it gets a bit confusing. But so the one um, the Re- Promise Neverland reminds me of this other anime my friend recommended to me like way back in like twenty twenty eighteen. Uh, okay. It's called Made in Abyss. Have you heard of that one? Oh yeah, you put on fucked up, cute animals and shit. Yeah, it's yeah, uh yeah. like these these two young boys. They go in a hole, and then yeah, yeah, it has like these cute. It has a cute style, but it's actually really like dark and depressing. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I'm pushing myself to really watch it is there's gonna be a game uh, of it, and it looks great. The game looks genuinely good. I think it's made by Atlas at that, who's uh, who make the Persona games and the Shin Megami games. Um, I have, uh, I'll, uh, I have a suggestion, um, a new, a new, a new, a new topic for this podcast. Like, let's yeah, do some ahead. video game, video game news. Cause I, I've heard like, yeah. like a lot of news. Yeah, I have two news articles. Like, uh, Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, is yeah. is banning this thing where, if you do something bad to PC, he'll also ban you to Xbox from that game. You know what I'm saying? Cross platform banning. Yeah. You know, it's cross-platform. Yeah, I've heard of this too. How do you feel about that? Um, that's too much power, buddy. How how can they make that? How can they streamline that? Like, how would they know? Okay. Baka kasi mapekto on you privacy mo or some shit. That that kind of that's is true. Scary that's true. In a way, it's probably gonna tie true, it to your your email. I think there's yeah there's pros and cons. I see the pros and cons mm-hmm. to it. I think. Well, because, yeah, for a lot of people that get banned, they just go on a different system and be toxic there. They were like, yeah. let's say, like, they're toxic, say, Halo on PC, and then they get banned. Then they'll just go to their Xbox and be toxic there. <laughs> so I, I see the need yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. and say slurs, but, with, yeah. but slower because they're typing with a controller. Yeah. But I see the need for it, no one. But like you said, that's so much power. Like, I'm worried if it's automated, like, with an algorithm, that's even worse because, like, random yeah. people can be banned from all of their systems just because they made yeah. like one mistake and that that's, that's pretty why, dangerous i'm gonna honestly not, i'm betting they'll use an algorithm now because that's a lot yeah. of gamers it's so many people toxic. yeah exactly yeah let me solution to driver what single player experiences <laughs> yes but what video games were meant to be but yeah. yeah and if you ever want to play like multiplayer you can do split screen remember that how a screen can be split in half like this right now and yeah, you're playing and the same game friend, invite, invite yeah, your friend over yeah fully, yeah fully vaccinated yeah. with with a booster with a booster the so yeah that'll yeah. be, that be, <laughs> be great and oh man I'm... and in other news they're rebooting uh they're they plan on making a new twisted metal game i am so excited for this yes i heard it, of that yeah it's, who's developing it's also, it again? I'm not sure if David Jaffe is gonna develop it because he, I think he's gone. No, I don't think uh, so. Full, no, no. He's, full, full, full. He's on. in a basement somewhere. <laughs> yeah, with the maga hat on. Yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, I think it's in on brand. This it's Sabaisha a series, eh? and you know, oh, thanks we do the guy right. from uh, Sea C- Hawk, the Marvel. Yeah, that's gonna be weird. Yeah. Anthony Mackie. There we go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard, I've heard that. I mean, he's a good actor, but I, I, it's weird. It's what I don't want to sound like ignorant, but it's Sweet Tooth Black. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't, don't really know. know. He, he's white. He's white in every from one, two, three, four. Black, small brawl, and the and the game. No one, nobody gave a shit about PS3. So yeah, I'm excited. I think it's. Because yeah. I, I went back because I always play that game once a year, just in Metal 2, because I love it so much. Yeah. Car, car combat yeah. doesn't hold up, because eh? people now who play like Tomorrow FPS, they want precise shooting. Where in those kinds of games, it's more chaotic. Yeah, like, yeah. You have to drive to line up the shots. 
So yeah, I'm curious what they're gonna do. That's I think why. The best. That's why I like Rocket League. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah that's why I like yeah. Rocket League. Yeah. Yeah. It's free. Kind of. <laughs> it, it has I think. I think the best and all that stuff. The the best they can do with like in car combat man is like in the anime engine to the Batman the Dark Knight. Batman is a PS4. Batman. Yeah, yeah Arkham Knight. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, yeah, where you can. <laughs> yeah, you can strafe left and right. <laughs> that, I mean, that could work, but I feel like that they have to balance it. Like some cars can do that, but they have higher defense. Gonna you know, that that would be interesting if you exactly. could do stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah, kung whoever's taking the new twist of metal game. Okay, going on. Um, I think I told this to you. I watched my. Little cousin, watch uh, Encanto. Encanto. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a uh, uh, Colombian Incredibles, but yeah, let's. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a Colombian. I liked it. Uh, what are your opinions on it? I'll I'll give you mine. Okay. Um, I like that it doesn't really have a villain. Like there is a character yeah. that's that antagonizes the protagonist, but they're not really a yeah. villain. The the real villain uh, are the the white colonialists. That's the real villain. <laughs> yeah. But like Actually. in the story itself, yeah, oh my God, it doesn't wait, really wait, wait, have like the standard Disney villain. The earbud yeah. got stuck in oh, my ears. Oh, your rubber thing is stuck in your ear, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. I I got it. So go go whatever. Wait, I'm sorry. For some reason, I'm lagging like crazy i might wait i'll try reconnecting to a different wi-fi let's see okay i'll i'll just keep them busy yeah all right. there we go you're back you're back yeah i've reconnected to like a faster wi-fi but nice one yeah sorry i'm yeah. eating how do you it's, feel? Be, it's way oh, it's way better it's way better <laughs> I, I feel like we were like 10 seconds behind each other so i'm having a hard time like knowing when you're hearing me but whatever man uh, i think it yeah, is a great disney yeah. movie and yeah. i feel like um i think it's important for kids nowadays and for families in general to watch the movie because it's kind of I don't want to say shaming but it's pointing out a very toxic uh, parental behavior especially in uh, Latino and maybe even Asian households I know it's like that in the Philippines now yeah. I mean, without spoiling the movie but we'll talk about spoilers later uh, how it's it's about like um, the pressures of of having standards to live up to of your parents or your parental figures and like if you're not special if you're if you feel that you're not gifted you just can't live up to those standards i like that i like i like that it even the people that are gifted like her sisters um see luisa and isabella yeah. uh they have their own struggles then like she to to mirabel the main character she thinks that they're they have a better life because they have all these gifts like super strength and, and planting flowers but they uh like Luisa has all this pressure on her to to perform and to always be of service and if she fails she feels like she's not worth anything which you know so obviously I'm, isn't true so but, yeah. bop dance dance break. hell yeah i love that song drip, 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 drip. Drip, drip, stop. <laughs> yeah i love that song <laughs> it seems to say you donkeys yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah that was super cute i like that that song is about like like social anxiety or like the inability to live up to people's standards, but it's such a happy song. Yeah. <laughs> and then I like that Isabel and her problem is that because she's seen as perfect all the time and, and like she's representing the family, she never really lives her own life because she's always being dictated what to do and all that stuff. Which, you know, happens a lot then. For like I bet like a lot of breadwinners in, in like a lot of Filipino families. They don't really live their dream, they're living their parents' dream, you know. But I wanna hear I like your thoughts it. on it though, yeah. I liked it. Like it's a solid, it's a high eight for me. The only part that I didn't like is when, yung reconciliation nila. I yeah. felt like it happened too fast. 
Yeah, you know I, agree. Like, I agree. I it, agree. Yeah. It's too, like, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, we're, we're friends now. Like, I should, I felt like there should have been one more thing that pushed the her over the edge, the old, the old person. Like, I feel like a sorry. Like she just saw her a monkey crying on the river. And I'm sorry. Then pati na sila. I think it, it felt a bit too fast. Pero yun lang naman yung major problem ko sa sa Encanto. Everything else is great. I like Bruno. I like that song. I you, love Bruno. Yeah. In the falling sand. sand, yeah. sand, sand. And that's really straight up is a rap there. Um, the the guy that. Made the music is uh, Lin, Man- Lin Manuel Miranda, the guy that made. Oh my God! Yeah, but it Hamilton. sounds like that. Yeah, I was like, this came straight out of Hamilton, dude. Yeah, it's the same guy. Yeah. So it's yeah. the same guy that did Moana too. Yeah. And I think he did. This is probably his best music in any Disney movie. I feel. Yeah. And I like that. Um, I agree with you. Now, Major Mabilis him pagka reconcile with the abuela, oh. but I think it's because th- they were rebuilding the house. They were they were from scratch. I think that took like a month, like rebuilding the house, but they sped through it in one song. But I think it took, <laughs> they took time to like forgive her. Oh, but because yeah. they did it in a song, it feels like they did it in like an hour. And yeah. then they forgave all of the family trauma that she put on them. Yeah. But like, yeah. I love that song, uh, the Spanish one. Uh, I forgot the title, but the one, because uh, I looked up the, subti- the, the English lyrics of it. It's like, it's about like two caterpillars and then they fall in love and become cocoons and become butterflies yeah. and fly away like that i love the part that part made me cry the one where when you compare this um her th- in the beginning she's telling the story to mirabelle when she was a kid how she got yes. the candle and all the powers and what happened to young husband yeah but when she says what really happened like she tells the story again but yeah. it's more it's more real it's more violent it's more like, brutal yeah, exactly it's more brutal. she yeah. breaks down she cries it looks so real on her face and then that made me realize that uh, she's not necessarily a villain because she was going through her own like trauma, her own struggles, and then she projected that. He did it all for the family. Man. Yeah, exactly. Because 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 they all have these superpowers, she feels like she has to make sure she's providing for the community. Ganun. I get that, naman. Pero ayun, she basically gave her entire family anxiety and, and all this pressure. Because she and felt the, like she had to, other than perform, and the the humor from this film really lends itself well to uh, cliche Disney tropes. Yeah. Like there's this one thing that I remember, like Kim Kumakapit si Bruno kahi. Oh my god! That's how alam mo deep yung cliff. To what yeah. point? It was just a shot. That's so funny. But you, you, but yeah, but you. I was just gonna say, did you know the voice of Bruno is freaking Sid from Ice Age? The voice of Sid from Ice Age. I didn't know See, that. What's his freaking name? Dennis uh, Leary? No, no, that's that's uh, that's Diego. <laughs> no, freaking so you know the Super Mario Bros. movie, the live action. Oh yeah, one? you can see John Leguizamo. Uh, yeah, the there, the, he's he's best. Bruno. I was like, he sounds so familiar. <laughs> Dennis <Yeah>. Leary. <laughs> it's hey. Dennis Leary. Hey, Why is where's there the a, baby? <laughs> where's where's a guy with a Boston accent here in Encanto? <laughs> By the way, one more complaint to Encanto. Yeah. Lack of diversity. Well, oh. just diversity. <laughs> They're all they're all Colombian. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They, they, yeah. People used to say that with Black Panther. They're like, oh, there's only one white guy. We'll talk about <laughs> diversity. <laughs> and yeah, um, we'll cut this short because we're both lagging like crazy. Conti na lang. Yeah, yeah. Encanto, because I really want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What I what I really love then is like yung sinabi mo how the humor lends itself to the Disney tropes. Like where, there was the one thing in packet that's just a uh, Sa kwarto ni Bruno with yeah. tons of stairs. Kasama ba niya yung owl? Yung, yung parang like a toucan or something. Yeah, yeah a toucan. Tas, he just, tas nandun na sila sa cave, di ba? Tas nakita niya yung horrors inside the cave. Tas iniwanan lang siya. Yeah. <laughs> like he pushed out. So yeah, that was the point. Yeah. I, I like how it happened. The whole story is like like two days lang ata. No? It's like one or two oh, days. It's so and it's quick. all in the house too. Yeah. I, I think that's really clever that they did that. I was, I was a bit confused because um, I didn't, I didn't know uh, like the nature of, because the the I thought that Felix, young the dad, the husband of Peppa, the yeah. the dad of Antonio, and yeah. Mirabel's dad in the start of the song, I thought they were gay, because. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought they were like married to they each were, other because they, 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 they danced well. They yeah, danced I together. Guess. No, I know because they they hugged and danced together. And then Mirabel says these two fell in love with the family Madrigal, and I'm like, oh wow, they're gay. This is very progressive ah, Disney. Okay, and it's like, okay. and, and their last names are Madrigal, so I was oh. like, no, they they took the last names of their wives, and that's, that's why your, that's yeah. their superpower. They're gay. <laughs> No, I was so confused. I was like, yeah. "Oh, that's and then when they were. Oh, she he's married with uh, Mad, uh, Mirabel's mom, and then Felix is married to Peppa, the 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 weather lady." But I was just so confused because they, they had the last name Madrigal. I was like, uh, "Did one of them marry the other guy?" And that's how they became a Madrigal. I don't know. You know, you know what's scary? Like I just googled this movie one time so TikTok yeah. just to search it, like, to, to search some scenes. Yeah, oh my and god. God damn, that's all in my timeline. Yeah, that's all that's in my that's timeline. That's the algorithm, dude. That's how oh, they do dude. it. There's some theories that you can actually see Bruno dancing, Dunsa. Yeah, we I saw it. I saw it. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where Dolores is singing and he's like yeah. in the background doing that. That's so clever. I like that. <laughs> that's again. so funny. And the one thing is, uh, like, yung, yung, who's the, the, the Madrigal with the healing powers? Uh, Julieta, the, the Mirabel's mom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the dad just was. Uh, kept getting into accidents, so yeah. she, she could, yeah, in my small ass tears. Like, yeah. I, yeah, to like to like, uh, so that she could like help him, no, so he could be closer mm-hmm. or something. Is that how? I think it's kind of weird. Like the whole concept, right, of how they get their powers is when they're like five or six or whatever. They walk up to the the stairs and they open the door to their own room, yeah. and then that's how they discover their power. So how did, how? Because when Antonio did it, the little boy with the yeah. afro. He could understand animals as soon as he as soon as he got the door, but yeah. Julieta, the, the Mirabel's mom, her power is that she has to cook a meal, and then feed the meal to an injured person, and then they get healed. So how did they discover that? Did she like suddenly have the urge to cook, and then everyone just waited for her to cook, and then she gave it to to someone? She asked who was injured, and then gave it to that person. I don't know. It's just, you don't want to be fucked up, River. Like you, Fari proved that my healing power show. They fucked someone up, Fari, so bad. <laughs> yeah, they beat the <laughs> shit out of someone. Heal this man. The see the young macho pa yung bumubuk sa nandoon. Yeah, and she's like, oh, I'm making like a a, a slow cook uh, stew. It's gonna take eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> the meat won't be tender. You have to wait. And then yeah. the guy's like bleeding internally. Inter- interesting plot hole. Like, how did they know that Bruno could predict the future? Yeah, exactly. No, I, I I have to, the thing about Bruno predicting the future. Oh, I know, because it, it's kind of vague how because he has this whole ritual right now he makes like the sand and he yeah, yeah. and then he makes like glass in front of him that he sees the future. So did he have to do that when he was a kid when he opened the door? Like did did he have the urge to draw a circle? Or I don't know, like yeah, like something like that. Like I didn't like, really you know, whatever. Oh, it's minor it's small, also. yeah. They're very nitpicky. Overall I like the message of the movie and it's yeah, it, is. It's it didn't great. feel Disney when I when I when I watched it. Yeah, I was like, wow, this... It's an anti Disney movie in the way that there's no main villain, there's no yeah. big adventure, there's no princess in this princess in like despair. Like yeah. It's fun and yeah, I liked it. But still, uh, did Pixar make this? Or? No, no, it's just Disney. Disney. Yeah. yeah, they still made the moms way too hot or way too young. <laughs> oh my like, god! Like I saw Bruno. <laughs> I saw I saw the the cloud lady. I'm like, yeah, Peppa. Damn, bro. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. It's okay. They're they're of yeah. age and they're yeah, they're of age. Like, they're moms, dude. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Abuela, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, but um, one last thing before we go, I want River. Surprise segment before we go. I want River yeah, yeah. to judge my video game tastes. Oh, and then you so, judge mine. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. I did you make your top ten, huh? I have one here on uh okay. I made one before you. Oh, Giselle's is just gonna be I hate Metroid ten times. Yeah, yeah it's like Metroid. I play all the games. I hate them all, but I played them all, but I hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Giselle. <laughs> Do you have your list? Yeah. Because I, I have mine ready then. But you read yours first. Yeah. And just, just judge. This is in order uh, in yeah. what I love. You can it. write it down so I know. So back. Yeah, it's, it's here. It's here. Okay, six, six, six. Number one, Twisted Metal 2. Okay. Number two, Persona 4. 
Number three, Final Fantasy IX. Number four, Pokemon Silver for the Game Boy Color. Nice. Number five, Metal Gear Solid 2. Number six, Vigilante 8, Second Offense. That's I know, the only game hipster, I don't know. Yeah. Hipster choice. Seven, I had to pick from three of the Dark Souls. Because eh? I, I didn't want to repeat video yeah, yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. So my favorite of the Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2. Oh, and g -Bra. Number eight, Last of Us. Number nine, Tales of Graces. And number ten, I had to put it in the same category. It's basically the same game. Spider-Man 1 and 2 for the PS1. Yeah, I agree that they're basically the same game because I played those two on PS1. Um, Which one of what's... these do you think are overrated? Okay. Persona 4, is it golden? It's a piece of shit. It's a... No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, is it Persona 4 golden or just Persona 4, just the base um, game? I think... I I put I hindi ko nilagay yung golden kasi I think on its own four still a great game. Okay, okay. But you can play in the emulators for free. Anyone watching? Yeah, it's pirate pirate. We advocate piracy. Yeah. What's your rule on emulators, by the way? Like, do you have like a, a like a, a hard and fast rule? If it's like, to thought of, if it's ten years na na. I agree. Ten years yeah. since the release, nah, I can fucking play it. Yeah, if, if it's from a system that's not being made anymore, from yes, a game that's yes, not exactly. being printed anymore, go for it. Yes. I, I agree. Yeah. But if it's like being ported or re-released or whatever, then I, I think no. it's good to no, no. like, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I like your list. I, what's the one game I didn't know that one, the Vigilante one? I, that's I, the one was, game I don't know about. It is kind of like, it's in the same vein of WWE Crush Hour... Uh, uh, Road Trip Vacation 2012. It's like a Twisted Metal clone, but it's the okay. best one of those. Vision. I say it, the story is like you all you're all from the 80s, okay, and you want to time travel back into the future. So it's it's just a funny game, uh, like you want love... a bus. It's, <laughs> I love that it's... you found a way to put Twisted Metal twice. Is basically what you did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love car combat games, dude. Like, I get that. I'm gonna try Rocket League. I think yeah. it's the closest thing. I like to Rocket Kart League. Combat. I I love that yeah. game a lot. It's free yeah. too, so it's cross platform. So like, if you play, I play, and Giselle, like we can all three of us lose at the same yeah. time. I think that's a good. That's a good idea. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm looking uh, at the screenshots. This looks really cool. Yeah, it is. It is super cool. Overall, I think you have great taste. I can tell that you love. Uh, games uh wait i'm trying to look at like a, a, a like something that ties all these games together i mean obviously you, you got your your jrpgs here i think you have a well-rounded package here you got car combat yeah, car combat again yeah. you got a jrpg 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 uh metal gear solid 2 i want to hear about like why why metal gear solid oh. 2 specifically yeah here um it's it did what last of us 2 didn't do well Oh. It's trolling the people with a new character. Okay, that's yeah. what I love. It's your new transition between Snake and Raiden. Like, oh my god, this is kind of cool. Not a new thing that become. Okay, I'm gonna bounce. So many, so many snakes. Peace you take control Jesus. of this. Yeah, like it, it's it's more of a troll. Yeah, yeah. To people, and I really enjoyed it. And plus, it worked on the. Slow mechanic because I loved one, but I didn't like the shooting. I didn't like mm. like the way it controlled. This was more of an upgrade to that. The reason I didn't put three or four, I said three. I hated that mechanic where you have to eat. Oh yeah, the time. survival stuff. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, yeah that, that, that turned me off. But I like three then and four, but just from nostalgia, trolling the audience. <laughs> And gameplay. And I, you I can't do that it. anymore, too. You can't really troll no. audiences nowadays. Yeah, well, they yeah. kind of did that with Last of Us 2. Not Where in a way that they intended. I feel like they oh, didn't yeah. mean to troll them in that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, go around the room. Let's yeah, see yours. I like, I like your list. Okay. Um, the, the, the one outlier lang dito na medyo weird kasi I said na I don't like third-person shooters. It's Last of Us. Pero... The thing that kept kept me playing that game was the story. The story. story, yeah, alone. yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. and <laughs> I, I I know the story of that game, though, and I and I, I get why people are so excited for the sequel because of how great the story in the first one was. Yeah, I, I think the only game here that I've played out of all of these is Spider Man One and Two. <laughs> no, this was in here because this is the, the game that got me into comics. 
Oh, yeah, like, they had this thing where you collect the comics and they yeah, yes, yeah, Stanley narrates. Panels. Yeah, fuck yeah. That Hello, was, true believers. Cool. And I like, yeah. I like um when when you pick the difficulty mode. There's this one called kid mode. I was like, kid mode. Enough said. Like stuff sounds like a. I like that. And and the favorite part thing, my cheat passwords, Jen. And if you type in bad words, yeah. Spider Man just punches punches the, the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. That's super cool. Uh, okay, I'll I'll oh, say yes. my list of games. So. Uh, I actually made this uh, on Twitter like a long time ago, and I'm just recycling it. But my list, I- and I'll send it to Messenger so you can look at it then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, put it in the Messenger so I can. It's okay. Judge I'm them. Oh, <laughs> it's still di- because the it had emojis on it, so now it says the emojis in words. But basically, oh, it's no. Okami, Dragon Quest Four, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. Dark Souls 1, mm-hmm. Shin Megami Tensei 4, Psychonauts, okay. Disco Elysium, okay. like Grim this. Fandango, Batman Arkham City, and then Donkey Kong Trop- uh, Country Tropical Freeze. Like th- Those oh, are my faves. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. These are very, very your game. They are very me. Yeah, yeah. I, I would. I want to play Psychonauts because it, it's, it's rare that the game deals... Let's talk about that a bit. Like, yeah, it's where that a uh, game d- deals with mental illness. How do they handle the story without spoiling it? Like, how do they they handle it well? Okay. But I don't care if it's brutal. <laughs> no, it's okay. Or, like, okay. Um, okay. Uh, there's this one. Um, you there's this level in the first Psychonauts game where you go into a mental asylum, and then there's this guy who is a descendant of Napoleon Bonaparte, and he has uh, he has like a. Sp- split personality disorder where his brain switches to napoleon and then he thinks he's actually napoleon right so he has like a, i think it's called the did or whatever and then you go into his head and then you have to make the guy uh cope with the fact that even if he can never live up to the achievements of a napoleon his his ancestor he's still great in his own like small achievements which is like oh. He likes collecting, like, I forgot what he did. He has, like, these smaller things. He wants to be, like, an artist like that. So he had to cope with the, the that fact. And he had to teach him how to do it by doing this. Um, you had to basically play, like, chess, but not really chess. You ever play, like, a freaking, what's that game? It's called, like, Settlers of Catan. You know, that game where, like, it's, anyway, you have to do that. But it's it's in a it's in a uh, platformy kind of way. Like, they, that's how they did it. They kind of gamified some illnesses. Like, there's just one... Uh, there's a guy who has uh, anger issues. Like straight up, he's, he's angry all the time, but it it comes out, it blows out of him. So how they present that is, you go into his mind, and he's uh, he's a bullfighter, and the bull is his anger, right? But Damn. instead of fighting the bull, he has to build a house of cards, and the house of cards represents like his patience. But the bull will always crash and destroy it, because when you when he builds the house of cards high enough, he can reach a rose that he was supposed to give to his lover, but his uh, his lover left him because he was angry all the time. He would like destroy things, you know, like stuff like that. So it in a way, it's like a metaphor. His anger was getting in the way of reaching, uh, and I like oh, that how yeah. it, it does it like that. Yeah, so that's how that's how it goes. Over. It, it's they do it better in the second one too, but the first one did a good job. I think I could play this emulator in the first one. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's I'll on PC that. then. It's on Steam. Yeah. It's very cheap. So and uh, I'm interested, Dito. Uh, why one? Why Dark Souls one? Is it? Uh, well, played? obviously it's the hardest. No, it's the first one I played. This? It's just okay, okay. It's the first one I played. Okay. And I, I I still enjoy, and it doesn't have, it doesn't have fast travel until a certain point. I like that. There's no real hub world. You kind of just level up wherever you go. I like that because it was the first one I played. Every corner was like scary to me. But in a good way, and I didn't know what to expect. Like that, like when when it's your first Souls game, you really don't know what to expect. But when you play, like even if it, when I played like Dark Souls two or three, I was like, okay, I kind of know like there's probably gonna be an enemy here. If like, knowing how they designed the game, because I played the first one, like that. But like nothing really compared with like my first experience with that type of game with uh, the first Dark Souls. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna be closing this now in a while. One last thing, by the way. Um, it was a Disco Elysium. One last thing, and we'll go on. Yeah. Um, there was this part of Disco Elysium. There was an I have to accept racism. <laughs> yeah. Did you <laughs> accept <laughs> racism? 
because my my fucking my skill my my physical skill is too low to one wake up the guy who's passed out number yeah. two to climb that bridge like it's the only option that's why i restarted it man. like okay oh, oh you, gonna... you respect no yeah, there's I another way I, I won't spoil it but because i have to okay have to get past you can you can face the guy on the on the you can face him the racist man and you can lose the fight and you'll still go through the bridge because once he hits you, he's officially done a crime. And because you're a police officer, uh, he actually gets arrested. Oh. Yeah, so oh. even if you lose, that's still a solution. And that's when I learned, wow, there are, part, there are, there are a lot of games that if you fail like a role, like Fallout, if you fail like a speech check, you just okay. you lose, you fail. Oh, but this one, yeah. it taught so me like even, if, yeah, even okay. if I failed, I still succeeded because that made sense for the character. Like why would I... Why would I win the fight? I'm a drunk policeman with amnesia like that. So, so yeah, that's, that's what back. happened to me. I'll just that's go okay. back to him. Bro. That's okay. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I did? Like I punched him and failed. And yeah. the volition said, do it again. Okay. So I'm going <laughs> to do this again. And I punched him. I, I don't fully remember if he gets arrested, but I just remember I lost the fight, but I was still able to get through. Like, I remember that. That's it. Thank you yeah. for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to cut this short. One will ask you and both of us are lagging like crazy. Yeah, we're, our internet's so, really bad right now. So I, I should press end broadcast. No, para, yeah, on. yeah. Okay, uh, end don't broadcast. you have a show like uh, oh, coming soon? Yeah. I have a show at January 22. No one fucking cares. Just buy tickets if you want to. I'm actually going to buy a ticket this time. I promise. I really actually no, no, will you buy a ticket. To, I'm not guilt tripping. Hey, no, the no, no, viewers, it's called, yeah. it's called uh, middle class. Uh, what middle class at the press. That's. Yeah. My first That's headlining so gig. It's R18 now because I've invited the, <laughs> the outcasts, <You're>... <laughs> the weirdest people in Comedy Manila. Let's po point it out. Alam. The borderline incel people. So watch that show. It's going to be fun. The school shooter people, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank See you, you so next much, week. guys. Bye. Wait, wait, wait.